I know the employment trends were very positive uh, today. That is a good thing, but that's mm. causing real difficulties for your industry. Have you had vacancies? Are you having problems mm. with recruitment? Mm. I, I, you know, I'm in the business a long time, nearly 30 years, and it's the worst we've seen. Uh, we have situations not only in our own two hotels, other hotels, where we simply can't, you know, even if the business is subdued, we're not actually able to take the business because we don't have the manpower to fulfil the promise that we've we've engaged in. Um, and it's at all levels. I think there was a massive brain drain at mid-management level, um, you know, after post-COVID. Uh, now we're finding it very difficult at all levels to, 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 to recruit as well. And we need absolutely big changes there in terms of where we source our employment from because it's not working at the moment. So how are you responding to that? Are you having to, you know, at a very basic level, just up wages, make yeah. it more attractive? You are, and it's, you know... Uh, you, you can go into it and say, oh, it's not just about wages, but you know what? It actually is. Uh, at this particular moment in time, there's a massive clamour as the, the Dublin hotel market reawakens and is seeking a lot of staff, etc. And that's pulling you know, teams from, from, from around the country up to Dublin, etc. So, yes, wage increases are there. Um, you know, uh, obviously, we're anticipating, we're not even waiting for the pension uh, legislation to come through. We've just gone and done it, uh, you know, in terms of staff facilities, etc. Um, you know, we, we're, we're right there at the cutting edge and we're now competing with, you know, the Apples, the EMCs, etc. for quality people in a great career in hotels.